saying uh, that, uh, that that this has been uh, going for a long time, and there's uh, in terms of people doing work on behavioral synthesis or high-level synthesis. Um, and there's a couple of different of of uh, things that are different this time around, um, and and one of them is is language-based. Um, the uh, which is in the first generation of commercial behavioral synthesis tools, we're using uh, Verilog primarily and then VHDL, neither of which is a great high-level language. And so there's things that you can do with a language that's closer to software, like C++, um, that, that, that are very difficult to do in Verilog, for instance. Uh, so we have a better language, and that's, that's one of the uh, uh, that's one of the reasons why uh, uh, it's why we can move to a to a, a better solution for for synthesis uh, for high level synthesis today. The other is one is one that Mac mentioned is verification is that in the is that today all everyone who who is attacking the high level synthesis problem recognizes that verification is part of the problem and and accepts as the uh, uh, as the scope of the of the tool set that it is both the creation of RTL and the verification of that that all has to fit together. Um, there we go. So let's start with a, a look. Uh, today, most of the approaches are that that we see are uh, C, C++, MATLAB, or System C. Uh, I'll it was said earlier, and uh, by John, and I'll and I'll say it again. Of course, uh, System C is C++. Uh, of course, anything that you can do in System C, you can do in Pure C. If you build enough infrastructure of your own and write enough simulator and write your own functions to do fix bit with data types, and you can do all this stuff. Um, but you don't have all the infrastructure to do it, uh, to do it built in. You, do, you have to go build a bunch of stuff yourself. So System C is C++, but it adds a standard layer that provides all, the, all that hardware uh, capability. So if we look at the uh, uh, flows for a C-based or, or a MATLAB-based flow, the, the, some commonalities between those, they start with an algorithm design and validation task, uh, go into building RTL and uh, exploring the microarchitecture of the RTL. Um, and then finally, uh, RTL comes out of that and goes into a conventional downstream kind of, a, kind of an RTL to, to GDS2 flow. Um, in the top bit of this, you have floating point, you have conversion to fixed point, you have bit accurate data types. Um, in the middle of this, you add pipelining and, and resource sharing, and the tool builds the FSM for you uh, and creation of RTL. Uh, and then it goes into the, into the conventional kind of a downstream flow. This is you know, most of the, of the uh, C or MATLAB based flows have some uh, of, of these steps. And the question is so what's missing from this flow? Uh, first thing is, that it's not just algorithm design that you need to do to get your chip out. You need to, to do both algorithm-oriented uh, blocks and control-oriented blocks. And so you need to, need to add that to your, to your uh, high-level synthesis and, and verification flow. Um, you need to have uh, the interfaces, the integration of multiple blocks together, and the synchronization of those blocks working together has to be designed, and then it has to be verified. So you have to have interface design, interface verification, you have to have multi-module uh, integration, and you have to have hardware, you have to be able to design hardware synchronization mechanisms uh, and synthesize those. Um, and then you need a verification flow that lets you uh, synthesize the code that you simulate so that one, your simulation has some uh, uh, validity in uh, in your in your validation effort. So we talked about the um, 
about raising the the spread, both raising the abstraction, but but raising it not just for algorithm design, but for algorithm and control. Um, a user uh, did an analysis of this, uh, working with us some years ago, came to the conclusion that in their designs, uh, pure data path designs represented less than 50% of the blocks they needed to build. And that at that time, uh, we could do a good job on the data path oriented blocks and not a great job at, con at control. So they started pushing to, 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 to do that better. And so the, uh, to be truly mainstream, high level synthesis has to raise the level of abstraction for data path as well as control blocks. Uh, and system C synthesis uh, makes it possible to do that by having the hardware constructs to, to, uh, to represent control directly. Um, a concurrent language is required. In general, substantial designs have to be partitioned into multiple modules. Uh, one reason is because the, uh, any tool is going to have some capacity limitation. And so if you try to take an entire 40 million gate SOC, feed that to a tool as one whack, any tool is going to, to, to run into problems with that. We, Historically, we have always addressed this problem by um, breaking the problem down into smaller problems and building and verifying those. And, the, and you need to be able to, to continue to do that. The other, there are other reasons than tool capacity for this. One is, in, to, in order to allow your teams to work in parallel, you need to be able to break a design into multiple pieces and give each team a piece to do. You need to be able to uh, have each, each piece of the design independently verifiable in order to parallelize your verification effort, in order to simplify your ability to get at the corner cases in each of these uh, smaller blocks. So all of that requires uh, being able to uh, represent the structural hierarchy and being able to verify the concurrent execution of those multiple modules acting together and interacting uh, amongst themselves and uh, uh, requires that you be able to uh, compose and verify the pin level interactions of the synchronization at the hardware level of those designs. You need to be able to do both high level simulations as well as simulations that have pin level accuracy. Um, so the, the says that has uh, one, one, one benefit uh, of this is that it allows you to do a lot to verify both your algorithm and your uh, interconnect uh, at, the, at the high level in a, in a fast simulation. You don't have to devolve to, to RTL for, for all of that. Uh, inter interfaces in particular uh, between design blocks and sharing information through memories can have very tricky timing characteristics. Uh, the functionality of, this, of, these, of these tricky interfaces have to be verified somewhere. Uh, and it's quite good if you can uh, specify those and verify those in your high-level design language. System C has the, has the, uh, the uh, uh, language constructs that, that, that let you do that. So with system C, you can validate the interaction between these blocks and loops through those blocks uh, with the uh, high level uh, behavioral simulation, which, which is going to run a lot faster. So if I try to break this down into some pictures of uh, what are good things to have for uh, synthesis languages. Uh, compatibility with algorithm languages is quite good because in, in, in practice the uh, algorithm design is often done in C++, so that's good. Uh, if your algorithm design is being done in MATLAB, having MATLAB be your synthesis language would, be, would also be good, um, but you're going to miss some of these other characteristics down the line. It's good to have object-oriented mechanisms in the language for managing complexity. Um, software engineers have been using object-oriented uh, techniques 
for managing Complexia software for a long time, and Lord knows there's uh, plenty of complexity in modern hardware designs that uh, that that you need some tools to uh, to manage. So the the uh, capabilities of C++ for object oriented work and being able to synthesize those is uh, is quite uh, uh, important. Uh, you need to be able to, to, to deal with multiple levels of abstraction. Uh, TLM, behavioral, pin level, RTL, um, all those levels of abstraction have a place in the verification process. And so being able to span all of those levels of abstraction in a single language gives you a, uh, a more efficient uh, uh, overall flow. Uh, and then you need the hardware specific uh, uh, items you need. Uh, bit exact data types and fixed point data types and concurrent simulation of the synchronization interfaces. Um, you need the uh, uh, cycle accurate modeling for custom interfaces. Uh, quite often you have a spec that comes to you that says and the interface at the boundaries of this module you have to build shall work according to this set of interface rules. And you got to write something that does that. Well, having the ability to uh, express the pin level connectivity and the pin level protocol and the pin level timing uh, cycle by cycle in system C is a straightforward way to do that. And then by combining that with the uh, uh, capability of, of, of having the tool create the FSM for the algorithm uh, and combine that with the protocol FSM, uh, gets you to, uh, uh, allows you to, to, to do custom interfaces in a straightforward way. Um, structural hierarchy, we were talking about earlier in terms of being able to break the problem down in a natural way, break it down in the way that hardware designers have historically broken down problems. Uh, and then lastly, synchronous and, and asynchronous logic. Um, in my experience, 99.1 percent of, uh, of the design is synchronous logic. And if I can only get to 99.1% of my job, I get fired. I have to get to 100% of my job. Um, so that, that, that the capability of, of managing uh, that, uh, that rare case where I need an asynchronous bypass path through this whole block uh, is, uh, uh, can be quite important. Uh, and you can do that in system C using methods. Um, so that's kind of the, the, the why choose system C uh, for synthesis. To put that, to, to, to give that as a summary, it's because for high level synthesis of hardware, you want a high level language that has hardware constructs. And system C is the standard high level language that has hardware constructs. So uh, uh, in, 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 a, uh, in a gross way, that's the, the, the answer to to why system C.